AP Biology, Chapter 17, Gene to Protein, Part 3. Today's lesson will involve doing some practice problems with going from DNA to messenger RNA to amino acids. Remember that bacteria have no nucleus, so they can do transcription and translation at the same time. The messenger RNA doesn't need to leave the nucleus. In us eukaryotes, we have transcription happening in the nucleus. This is the process of making messenger RNA. Remember, we have to cut out introns and eddy poly A tail and a 5' prime cap in a process called RNA processing after transcription. Then the second part of making a protein is translation. After the messenger RNA leaves the nucleus, the messenger RNA hooks up to a ribosome, and using the codons, the sequence of three messenger RNA nucleotides, we bring in the right amino acids using transfer RNA. Another way to think about it is the... Uh, is the DNA is kind of the codes, the blueprints for making proteins, and they're kept in the safe. The safe is the nucleus. So if the DNA doesn't leave the nucleus, that means we have to make a copy of those codes in the process of transcription, and those copies are messenger RNA. Then messenger RNA leaves the nucleus, and um, using the codes, we'll be building our proteins at the protein factory. The protein factory in this case would be a ribosome. Transfer RNA brings in the amino acids that we need to make our proteins, and uh, that's represented by the little truck carrying the AA. Then over here we have the uh, proteins uh, assembled, the amino acids in the right order, assembled using the messenger RNA codes. Here's a more traditional view of this. We have the nucleus, DNA, making messenger RNA in transcription. And then messenger RNA is used at the ribosome to string together our amino acids and our pro protein by translation. The genetic code. Now the genetic code is a, um, a thing that you don't have to memorize, but you do need to know how to use it. The genetic code is the way to use messenger RNA to find the amino acid sequence. So if you know messenger RNA, all you have to do is look up messenger RNA's three letters in the codon to find the amino acids. Now these amino acids are abbreviated, and you don't have to memorize this. This will always be given to you on a quiz or test. For example, if we have the messenger RNA codon of AUG, we can just look at our genetic code. First base is an A, second base is a U, so just kind of da, 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 and then we get AUG for methionine, which is our start card codon. There's only one start codon, AUG, and there's several stop codons. As you might guess, start codons start the process of translation, stop codons end the process of translation, and then the protein um, this uh, detaches from the, the ribosome. So at this time, we're going to do a little bit of practice. Here we have a handout from a previous class. Now in our previous class, we did fill out the rest of the DNA as well as the other side of DNA, and we made our messenger RNA. It's complementary. Now to figure out our amino acids, we need the messenger RNA. It's always the messenger RNA that's necessary for this. So the first uh, messenger RNA codon is CGU. Remember, put a line every three nucleotides in messenger RNA so that we can separate out our codons. If you're even off by one nucleotide, that messes up um, what amino acid that's going to be coded for. Now on page 303 in our book, we have another genetic code. Let's remember that, CGU. And on page 303, we have the genetic code. Now to find the amino acid from the messenger RNA, we start in the middle. The middle of this genetic code is the first letter. The first letter that we're looking for is C, right down here. That means that we're going to focus on this quadrant, the lower, left, uh, lower right quadrant. The second letter is G. G. And then the last letter is U. CGU on messenger RNA codes for arginine. And if you take a look at the back of your sheet, you see that CGU does code for arginine. Next one was AAG. First letter A. Second letter A. Third letter A. Letter G, AAG, codes for lysine. And that's how you use the genetic code. AAG, lysine. 
at this time, I'd like to give you some time to find the rest of the amino acids at the top. Once you're done with that, we're going to go to the bottom here. We figured out our messenger RNA in a previous class. Now you got to find the amino acids. Just take a few minutes to work with your partner and figure this out. If you don't have your sheet, you can copy it directly from the sheet on the podcast. Now that we have a little practice with figuring out the amino acids, we're going to kind of put everything together. What I'd like you to do is copy down this table. This is page 7 in your notes, and this is practice on transcription and translation. We have DNA coding strand, DNA template strand, which is triple, messenger RNA codon, transfer RNA anticodon, and the amino acid it codes for. Let's take about five minutes or so and fill in this table with uh, the correct information. And we'll double check that in a, in a few minutes. Make sure that you also get in your notes what the genetic code is used to find the amino acids if you have the messenger RNA codons. Pause at this time if you need time to fill in the table. Now the last thing we're going to do is try to connect this to something a little bit more real. So let's, um, let's go ahead and do our last page of notes for chapter 17. We're connecting our gene to protein um, notes with digesting food. Now we're going to have a little guy here putting bread in his food hole. And uh, if you remember, bread is mainly starch, and starch is a chain of sugars. Now some of this material will be stuff that we learned about fourth quarter, but let's go ahead and copy this down. We have our food coming down the esophagus, goes into the stomach. The stomach is not the major place for digestion, it's actually the small intestine. Above the small intestine you have a pancreas, and the pancreas releases digestive enzymes to break down your food, like starch, into sugars. A starch molecule is actually a chain of sugars that we can break down. We'll pause at this time. Alright, next picture. Let's go ahead and expand that area of the pancreas that connects to the small intestine. There's a little duct there. And here we have our pancreas. We have some beta cells in the pancreas that make insulin. That's just a little side note. Here we have some pancreatic cells making enzyme proteins secreted into the small intestine. Now you guys know how proteins are made. Proteins are made by transcription and translation. Once translation is complete, you can have those uh, proteins secreted from the cell into the ducts that lead to the small intestine, where it can break down the starch. Stop at this point, and copy this down. And the last part of our notes for chapter 17. We have a gene for amylase. Amylase is the enzyme that breaks down starch. It's the protein that breaks down starch into sugars. The codes for it is on DNA, making messenger RNA. Ribosomes take the messenger RNA, string together the amino acids in the protein of amylase. Then once the amylase is uh, made, it's going to fold into its three-dimensional shape, and then it'll be secreted into the small intestine to break down starch into sugars. Let's pause at this time and finish our notes.